Drugs, booze, hazing tonight, all that has gotten the Stanford banned into some trouble. Sharon Chin on the bad behavior and the punishment. Sharon? Yeah, this report gives a specific instance of a tradition in which a band member was given an alcoholic concoction designed to make him throw up in public. Ipecac. This herbal extract will help you play in tune. It's like something from a movie, but at Stanford, the punishment is real. A university investigation says the Stanford marching band violated the school's policies on alcohol, illegal substances, hazing, and sexual harassment on several occasions in the last four years. So for the next year, the band can't travel with sports teams or serve alcohol at its events. It's a talker on campus. Why do we have to have show up to games without a band? On the other hand, um, I know that they've been like, investigated for violations in the past, so I can understand why the punishment was handed out. An administrator explained in a statement the university's objective is to ensure a safe and harassment free environment while honoring the band's traditions and its unique irreverent identity. Over the years, the band has developed a habit of getting in trouble, from its parody of polygamy to infamously running onto the field in the final seconds of the 1982 big game. Tonight, band members declined an interview but wrote, there are aspects of band culture which are no longer in line with our values, and we accept that despite tremendous growth, we have further to go. Still, they say, most of what they're being punished for happened at least three years ago. Sharon Chin, KPIX 5. The band can appeal the university's decision.